Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cracks are turning problems into solutions. This is me Priya Shadas and today in this video we will be discussing the practice set 3 which will be a little advanced level theta question based tabular DI set and if you want to practice more such sets with me then you can join my free live classes at Unacademy. I do come live at 1.30 pm and I have also provided the link in the description box for my latest class and my profile so that you can follow me there and you will be getting notified of every new class I come up with absolutely free though right and with this i would love to tell you about the unacademy's champions league for all the cat 2022 aspirants if you are planning to give the cat 2022 then nothing can be better than this early free mock which is provided to you by unacademy absolutely free what you just need to do is enroll using the link in the description box and my code priyasha 10 so that along with this free test which will be completely in the paper pattern of the cat 2022 examination having exactly 66 questions to be answered in 120 minutes you would also get access to the four days workshop in which the top educators at an academy will be taking you through the sectional relations and the tips and the strategies to be taken care of during the examination along with the session talk with a topper and with all the benefits of a mock like detailed test report analysis and your rankings you would also stand a chance to win up to 100 percent scholarship and amazing prizes like macbook air iphone xr and apple airpods so please do not miss out on this opportunity and check the link in the description box and enroll yourself right now for this absolutely free test and now let's get our video started Hello everyone, so in this video we will be having our practice set 3 for the DI tables and this will contain theta questions which will be considered a bit advanced level. Now why am I considering this set as advanced is what we will be discussing in just this video all right so here you see there's a table so this this video will be more concentrating upon understanding the requirements for the following table how to get uh, things how to solve things okay we will just understand the table first so have a look over here these questions are based out of the information given here and we see that the information of one two three four and five years have been given and five different schools pqrst have been given now a stands for the number of students who appeared for an exam and C represents the number of students who passed the exam. And the passing percentage is the division value. That is the number of students passed divided by the number of students who appeared. So that's very basic to understand. The numbers are all three-digit numbers. And what happens in the case of three-digit numbers? We are going to do some intensive calculation. This is just an indication that we have to do some intensive calculation. So why is this set called as the advanced set? because of some extensive calculations so we will be sure now that we have to do a lot of calculations in this set and that's why a mock creator is calling it an advanced set okay now just look below and have a look the first question says in which year was the past percentage of school q the highest that means now here we have to make a comparison of this column that is q across all the rows starting right from 2012 up till 2016 now why is it advanced the reason for calling it advanced is first you have to make comparisons of five fractions what will be the five fractions the five fractions will be 112 upon 168 118 upon 175 131 upon 196 108 upon 152 113 upon 161 and these are very close fractions it's not like one fraction will give you 50 percent other will give you 60 percent other will give you 90 percent no the fractions are so close that the answers will range somewhere between 66 percent to 71 percent so therefore uh, we have to make sure that we can either now if you get this in the cat examination there is an on-screen keyboard though i am not very much in no, on-screen calculator i mean i am not very much in favor of this but still in questions like this where they are very very close fractions you can take the help of this 
buddy otherwise you can use your own skills i'll i'll while solving these questions i'll give you a bit of uh, you know knowledge about how to make comparisons of the fractions so that at least your calculation is limited to two fractions and not five fractions okay so let's have a quick look what we have to do is we have to divide 112 by 168 same 118 upon 175 so we will be doing that and we will be comparing the fractions first okay so we will first compare the fractions let's solve for the 11th question here what we will be doing is the first fraction we will be getting from here will be 112 upon 168 we'll make comparisons okay 112 upon 168 compared to the other data 118 upon 175 and then the other information i'll have to gather from here 131 196 131 upon 196 the other one will be 108 upon 152 and the next one is 113 upon 161 this is the five year data for the school q now we have to make a comparison that in which year the passing percentage will be the maximum now have a very very close look have a very very close look we have to know a bit of fractions to avoid few things like do you know that if you divide 112 and 168 you would be getting something closer to 2 by 3 or i think exactly uh, closer to 2 by 3 you can just get it because 112 into 3 gives me the value of 336 so into 2 will give me a value of 66 or 67 percent so this makes it 66.7 percent somewhere or two third you can remember it like this also this can be reduced into 2 by 3 now if the other fraction is reduced by 2 by 3 or not let's check 118 upon 175 so if you check it you will find that this is slightly more than 66.67% slightly more than that so again here in these kind of things you can use the calculator or you can reduce the fraction where you will see that you will be getting a number which will be divisible okay like here you see the number is going to be divisible by no other number except 5 but 118 is not divisible by 5 so it becomes pretty difficult to do that so what you can do is you can take the normal division method of this and divide it by 175 okay by adding two zeros at the end because you have to ultimately multiply by 100 but the thing to get the percentage but the thing which i wanted to say here is you will get the answer in the first attempt only like just see it's very simple you have to just do 100 this is 5 right so 175 into 6 so 175 into 6 will give us how much 175 into 6 will be giving us 1050 now the number which will be left for me will be 130 now 130 is smaller than 176 but when the zero will come down i know that 6 will not work here so 66 will not work here here i would need a number which is into 7 and that would give me 1 2 2 5 so that means 67 point something is what we are getting a number greater than 67% okay so i can write it like this so of course when compared to this value over this value the second percentage is higher we will not consider this as the answer now again 131 upon 196 you can either take the division method or uh, use the calculator well here also you will get 66% 66 point something so you can just ignore this as well this will not be highest even now 108 upon 152 looks something good to me why because 108 is a very closer number to 152 the difference is very very less okay between the numerator and the denominator and this is an indication that the fraction will be greater okay and if we try dividing the very first quotient we will be getting is 7 and that will help us to eliminate all the options check this out this is this and this is 152 so only when i multiply 152 with 7 i would land up in 1064 so this is something in which you have to check your calculations and do it faster okay so this is something you have to check yourself and then this is 160 which is 71 into 1 like 7 into 152 into 1 that gives you 
So no need to go to the decimal part. You understood this is giving you 71%. Since this is giving you 71%, it's very comfortable to go with this number right now. And just to check this number, you can just divide 113, like 113 with two zeros divided by 161. So I would be knowing this that 113 divided by 161 would give us a number closer to 70. It will be 7 here. Okay, no doubt 161 into 7 will be giving me the desired number that is 1127 that will leave a 3 and a 0. Now you will realize that you are left with only a 30. Okay, and 30 is nowhere going to help you over here. So you would need an additional 0 here so that you get a 300 error and that gives you 70 point something. So even this is less and this is the highest value. Now this was the value for which year is what we have to go and check. This is for 2015. So the answer here would be 2015. Theta based question hai. So you have to keep your attention that you are supposed to fill in the right data and compare all the data. Why is it advanced? The reason for calling it advanced set is that it has lots of calculations. Number one and number two, there is all like, like every value needs to be compared. So every value being compared is what makes this slide or makes this set a little complex. So these fractions are how you have to compare it. We'll just have a look over one more question and then the remaining three we'll take in the part two. Now again the next question says which school has the highest pass percentage in the year 2013. So over here in the year 2013 we have to make a comparison in this particular row across all the columns of PQR. So again it's, it's the same thing same old thing back okay. The same old thing which we have to compare is uh, which like the fractions. So what, what fractions are available to us right now? The fractions which we will be comparing for school P will be 227 upon 340. Okay, so let us mention this down in question number 12. So we will quickly have a look over question number 12 as well. Just let me go back to my question. Yeah, with school in 2013. So here is the 12th question. We will start with school P and school P's ratio stands out as 227 upon 340. So 227 upon 340, very close. Then we have a Q. Q school lies at 118 upon 175. Then we can move to other schools. Let's have a look. 407 and 542. Hmm, number is closer. 407 and 542. Much better than the previous ones. Okay. Now you can make some comparisons here. I'll tell you how to do that. For school S, we see that the value is going to range from 2000, like 2013 data we need. So that 2013 data would give us 489 and 685. 489 and 685 and the last one is PQRS T and in T we have the data as 341 and 482. Now we know that we can easily do it with the help of dividing and checking but let us apply some skills over here and let us see that which schools are close to two-third. Two-third accounts for 66.67% so just check which percentages are close to two-third. Okay, we will be skipping those schools because we need a value more than 70%. Okay, we need a value more than 70%. And for getting a value more than 70%, we will be subtracting and checking out the difference between all of them. Now, here we are making a comparison. Here we are making a comparison of 227 and 340. Now, just to be sure this number is more than two-third or not, what you can do is you can try dividing it all by yourself, okay? Just try dividing it or by checking the value of it from the denominator. I mean, 227 out of 340 is what is the meaning of this fraction, correct? So, if you want to check that out like this, you will be finding 
this will be closer to two third. I mean, using approximate numbers, using approximate numbers, you can find that closer to two third. So this will might this might not be the answer. We are searching for something which is closer to seventy. Now one hundred eighteen upon one seventy five. This might seem close. This might seem close. But again, the point is that we have to check whether it's closer to seventy or not. But it will still range somewhere for sixty-seven point something. So sixty-seven percent, and this is sixty-six point seven percent. So P is surely not the highest. Now four hundred seven upon five forty-two. So out of five forty-two parts, four hundred seven parts are passing. So that represents a bigger number to me, closer to seventy percent. How we can check is either by dividing using a calculator or self division process as I showed you at the top. Okay, so if you try dividing this number by 542, you would realize that it's not just 70, but it will go far away to 75 point something. Okay, so 75 person has been represented here. See. it's not dangerous the moment you feel comfortable dividing a particular thing you will be okay with it so i'll just zoom out of this area and we will continue with our question 489 and 685 the difference is huge isn't it and since the difference is huge we know that the number is nowhere going to be closer to 70 489 upon 685 would give me a number which will be 71% okay not closer to 75 i meant so therefore what we can make an observation here i'll tell you at the end once i complete the t1 for the t1 if we go by the division process we will land up upon an answer which would be equals to 70% now look have a look over here when we are making comparisons of these fractions what are we observing the denominator is less so the fraction is also less the denominator is further less the fraction is slightly more than this because of the higher value of the numerator but when we come down to the highest denominators so this is the highest denominator but the comparison of the numerator here is slightly less than what it is here look at the difference the difference over here between 552 And four hundred seven is equals to one thirty five, but the difference over here between six eighty five minus four eighty nine would be one ninety six. So because of more difference, we are getting a lesser fraction or lesser percentage value, and because of the lesser difference, we are getting more percentage value. Same in the case over here, four eighty two is denominator slightly lesser than that. But three forty one. What is the difference of four eighty two and three forty one? The difference comes around one forty one, which is still more than this fraction. So therefore, we understand that the value of this percentage will go less. So this is how you can make a comparison, and you will find or realize that this would help you to eliminate few options at least. Okay, here we'll not make a comparison because the fraction denominators are way too less. But at least we can make it with these bigger, bigger values. So we understand that 75 percent is coming from school R. So my answer over here would become school R, which is not visible here. So I'll just take this. Okay. So two questions we have solved. The remaining three questions are right here on your screen and also in the practice PDF. So I'll just repeat that for those who uh, answered the question. well very good and those who did not understand it at the first go no problem now in the part 2 i will be bringing the same set and i'll be solving the remaining three questions also so i'll wind up the video here if you like this video then please like this video share it with more and more people and if you are new to this channel then do subscribe to the channel as well i'll be up with more such content till there thank you so much for watching and please take care